What's going on everybody? Honda Pro Jason here, Import Alliance 2022. And we're gonna do a segment that I like to call, tell me about your R. So we're gonna interview all the people here in the Type R section, and we're gonna have them tell you about their R. So let's do it. We are definitely gonna start this video off with a bang. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna say, give me your name and tell me about your R. So what's your name and tell me about your R. My name is Chris, and uh, it's my 2019 Type R with the full various kit. Everything JDM. Uh, you mean you mean go around each one? Yeah, no. Okay. Let's, let's go around. Just kind of, so the full Varus kit is going to include what exactly? Because this is one of the only full Varus kits in the country, as far as I know. There's very few of them. Yeah. Uh, as far as I know, there's three of us: the Varus car, Luigi, uh, Squeegee, and me. Uh, so, and I'm the first one and only one right now to run T's uh, bulletproof automotive uh, spec T37, nice. uh, 18 by 10 and a half plus 15 uh, with 295. 30 Avenue by 80 ARs. Um, the kit, it comes with the uh, fenders, the bumper, and then the rear over fenders, and the side skirts. You have to add the canard yourself. Okay, okay. And then uh, separately, by Varus, you got the hood, you got the wing, the rear diffuser. Um, so I, I have to ask, did you have to cut anything to put the kit on? Yeah. You uh, had to cut the car, didn't you? Yeah, I the, thought you had to cut the you car. Cut, I mean, you can see the, the vents right here, so you got to cut literally all the way up here on the oh, fenders. Oh, man. <laughs> And then to clear these, you're cutting literally all the way up here also. Okay, so you're cutting, cutting your car off. That's insane. Full secret interior. You've got the secret steering wheel. Uh, <laughs> short shifter, shifter bushings, weighted shift knob, uh, secret bride seats. As far as I know, there's only like 10 of these seats made. Under the hood, I've got a group M intake, uh, inventory inlet pipe, spoon valve cover, HKS down pipe, HKS front pipe, plus coast front bar. HKS intercooler, HKS oil cooler. Yeah, I had everything powder coated black, like the uh, crash beam and the uh, HKS oil cooler shroud. Dude, they look amazing. Very well, I do. Thank you. Thank you and so nice much. To meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. I appreciate you bringing out the car. It's absolutely yeah, stunning. Thank you. Tell me your name and tell me about your R. I'm Cliff. This is my 2017 Civic Type R, number 241. What kind of grill setup you got here? I'm not too crazy about this one. This is one of those eBay <laughs> grills. The okay. fitment was not the best. No, nothing wrong with that. And the wheels? These are one of two sets in North America. These are the 19 inch UK FK2 wheels in factory championship white. They, my, they match the car very well. My pride and joys. They really, really yes. good. Come, come around the back. What kind of spoiler is that? Because it's that is, that's one where, of the biggest spoilers I've ever seen on FK8. <laughs> I, work, I work for Nine Lives Racing. We okay. make this badass wing for the Type R. We've got <laughs> so yeah. It's like literally, I, I, yeah. I, I, I can't even reach my arm span, which is, if they, they say your arm span is how tall you are. So if that's true, this spoiler is taller than me. I think, I think 71 inches. <laughs> it's, it's big wing. Bro, hey, I appreciate yeah. you coming out. The car looks awesome. Man. Good seeing you, man. Good seeing you too, bro. Thanks, brother. Whose champ white is this over here? Is he here? You ready? I'm ready. Okay. What's your name? Hi. Tell I'm me about your R. Zach. Nice to meet you, brother. Nice to meet you. This is my 2018 R. Uh, I bought it back in October. Uh, I've wanted this car for quite some time. Quite some time. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I just little touches here and there, just you know, slowly upgrading. I'm not in any hurry. So the, the car, the platform is amazing. Stop. Right? Even stock, yes. It's really, really so. 100%. Tell, tell me about these wheels. What do you got on there? Uh, it's Rebercrafts. Uh, they're 19s. Uh, they're eight and a half. Uh, with I think like a 22 offset, something like that. I like that the, you have the Honda set of caps. Yes. It just makes it look good. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Very cool. Brother, I appreciate you coming out today. Of course. Thank you. Very good to meet you. Man. Nice to meet you. What's your name and tell me about your R. Uh, Ricky. And uh, this one might be the cheapest one here. Okay. So, uh, someone left the window down at a dealership in Memphis and it ruined the carpet, the seat, and one of the relays underneath the dash. They okay. sent it to auction, repaired everything from Honda. I paid $25,000 for it. You paid twenty five grand That's for it. this. It's a 2017. Nothing this, wrong with this it. This definitely will be the cheapest R here. Nothing wrong with it. The only thing I have is one of the USB ports. But when you plug it up, the only thing it tells you is that there's an error, but it tells you in Spanish. Shut it's the up. only thing in there that does it. They don't know why. So you know, <laughs> mucho so, arrow is what it gives me. But uh, that is so other than that, I haven't had anything. It's full bolt on now. What kind of wheels you got? Uh, the Rays 57 DRs. Nice. Um, it took me a long time to get them. That was in the middle of COVID. So yeah, yeah, yeah. we had six, eight months to wait on those on HK's exhaust and hybrid shifter and 
Um, I took the valve out of the slave cylinder and adjusted the okay. clutch pedal. And, yep. and, How many mine? Yeah, and it's just, it, it drives great. And, Cool, man. At 25000 I don't feel bad for beating on it either. So. No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. Well, I appreciate you coming out. It was very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Is yours? Mine. Excellent. What's your name? Tell me about your arm. Uh, my name's Garrett. I got a 2020 Type R about a year and a half ago. It is um, currently my daily car, but I am starting to track it. So current mods is the Acuity Short Shifter with the cable bushings. I absolutely love it. Yes. Love it. Stainless Great mod, steel. especially for the track. Yes. Great mod. Yeah. Yes. Um, I got the stainless steel brake lines, and um, I'm going to be upgrading to the Paragon slotted rotors, PRL uh, intercooler, PRL charge pipes, uh, PRL flex for the uh, stainless steel for the clutch line, and then I'll be getting the HKS premium exhaust with the burnt tips. So that's all in my garage. I just didn't have time to put it that's on That's awesome. And you'll be ready for the track. Ready for the track. Very cool, man. I appreciate you bringing it out. Very hey, nice appreciate to you guys uh, doing this, man. This is for great. For sure. No, it's a lot it. of fun. Anyone else here with these three champ whites? Champ whites going once, twice. What's nice is they're all color coded. So someone had the foresight to color code these, and then someone, his name might or might not be Ben, had the foresight to set it up like an old Nopi Nationals. Is this yours? Yeah, yeah. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Good, good, good. Good, good. So we talked earlier. Are you going to do this in Spanish? Well, yeah, it's he's better. So tell me your name and tell me about your R. My name is Oscar Pichardo. Eh, vivo aquí en Georgia, pero soy de Puerto Rico. El carro tiene 550 caballos de fuerza, está tuneado por Pepo Bebosa. Eh, básicamente mi carro diario y de track. Excellent. So, what's your favorite thing? What do you like most about the Type R? Eh, es que me encanta todo. Es cuatro puertas, es un carro familiar. Yo tengo mi car seat for my baby. So, que, sí, me encanta todo el carro. El feeling en la pista es muy bueno. Así que creo que es uno de los mejores carros que he tenido. And the family likes it? Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Hey, thank you so much for coming out. I appreciate it. Sure. Thank you. What's your name and tell me about your R. My name is RJ. This is my 2019 Type R. It's wrapped with the Tasha, is what they call it, with Kyojuru Rengoku from uh, Demon Slayer. <laughs> Dude, I love it. It, it really, I'm, on the highway, people have to be taking pictures all the Man, time, right? Man, pe people roll up on me, pass, and they slow down, they look, they're like... <laughs> then they throw their hand up and they just drive on. That's cool, I get it man. all the time, you That's know? cool, man. So what, what kind of modifications besides the wrap do you have? I see the wheels. I've done a C28s on it. I have a Swift Specar lowering springs, PRL um, intake, inlet pipe, which I have to install, down pipe, intercooler charge pipes, and an AW touring exhaust. I got the same exhaust on mine. I, love I saw it. it. It looks good. I I love it. And Very for cool. tail lights, while well, I did the HRS um, V2 tail lights, those are the ones I did for mine. Amazing. Hey, thank you, I man. I appreciate you coming out, man. Thank Very you, much. man. Very much. Very much. Thank you. Yours? Yes, sir. My name is Pierce. I run the house of Honda, and this is my 2018 FK8. Um, got a Sabon hood for it so far. Um, brand new. I've had about maybe about a month or so. <laughs> you know the FK game, I love it. Yeah, it starts with hood, very cool. So that uh plan to get a Varus wide body for it. Uh, you know it's gonna be for the page, so okay. Varus roof. Cause they they told me about the new carbon fiber roof they have. So I'm definitely gonna get in that and then uh probably a carbon save on trunk. And then if I could, well since I'm going wide body, I plan to get the Z E forties. Okay. I wanted them now, but they don't have them in the right offset, so but that's it. Other than that, Man, that's it. Nice it. Just, and just clean. a couple little things. No, yeah. it still looks sick, bro. <laughs> yeah. If people want to know a little bit more about your page, your Instagram at what? Uh, the House of Honda. The House of uh, Honda. I follow you. Yes. We talk all the time. All the so, time, yes. So, so you, you guys got to check him out. He's got Honda stuff for days. You're really going to like it. Yeah, so it's always been a pleasure. Nice to finally get you in person. Man. I appreciate it's been a long brother. time coming. And I can't wait to see this build come to life. It's going to be awesome. Thanks. Appreciate it, man. Sure. We'll see you around. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Spoon 43 car? The Spoon 40. Anyone's got the Spoon 40? Is anyone's car? Is it? What's up, man? Oh, what's up, buddy? Good what's to up, see man? you, man. Yes, sir. So, tell me your name. Tell me about your car. Uh, my name is Doug. Uh, it's the 19 Sonic Gray Pearl. Not a whole lot done to it, really. Just a PRL intake, cap back exhaust from AWE, the raised cram lights. Went with some nice uh, Yokohama Advent Apex tires. You can front lip uh, painted black instead of the gray. I like it. I really like the. Uh, the difference between so many people color code them, which looks good, 
but just the difference really is yeah. striking. Yeah, so yeah, good yeah. job. And I hope to uh, eventually I'm going to do a chassis splitter for it because okay. I do actually actively track the car. Sure. Um, I'm going to do a chassis splitter for it and then I'm going to go uh, with this guy and get the big nine live spoiler for it as well. And I'm going to paint the end plates so that matches the car. You know, just make it look still really nice and subtle, sure. but still make it an angry track car. I love it. You know? <laughs> Absolutely. Um, yeah, I'm a big Miata guy. I love Miatas. I tracked mine four different times and after I tracked this one time I sold the Miata so it's I like that when you said Miata I was gonna make a joke and say we're gonna cut that part out but <laughs> since you sold the Miata and got this we'll leave that right in this video oh yeah man hey, absolutely brother, thanks for coming out good oh, seeing awesome. you again anytime anytime yes, this is my sure. 40th IA I'm sorry, so, you say 40th? 40th, yes. I'm not exaggerating. 2007 was my that, first one. That's amazing. You're, it was created by HondaTech.com. You walked, you pulled in, right. and they asked you what forum you were on. <laughs> and you parked next to all the same car from your <laughs> four. <laughs> oh, yeah. There you go. From you? Okay, there you go. You. That's the OG. Hey, good seeing you again. Absolutely. Thanks for coming out. Absolutely. Another Sonic? Yours? Thank you. So tell me, tell me name, tell me about your art. So my name is Adam. Uh, this is my 2019 uh, Sonic Gray Pearl Type R. Uh, it's got a, it's got a uh, Varus hood on it, and uh, just a Mugen front lip, uh, side skirts, some uh, Desmond R Rega Masters 18 by nine and a half. Uh, it's stock height. I uh, got some meaty uh, Michelin uh, Pilot uh, Super Sport PS4s. Tell me about the top. You didn't the even top. mention it. Dude, yes. He's all walking the around. Large, didn't even mention the large. The large, massive Thule roof box. Yes. It's. Uh, I bought it. Uh, I bought it from. If you're if you're familiar with Eli, uh, Satcher or. Yes. 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 FK8. Uh, I bought it from him, and then I had it paint matched uh, to, to the <laughs> it looks, car. It looks awesome, and I believe it's the only one here. It is. <laughs> it is. The it only is. One I, a couple of a couple of my buddies were like, "Where are you at?" I'm like, "I'm in the rear with the beer." Yeah. Not not intentionally with. I don't have beer on me. But, uh, yeah, I, I that's cool. I got it all. It, it hey. carries a lot, and it's great. That's cool. Hey, thanks for coming out. Hey, Good thank you, Jason. You. For sure, for sure. Take care. Let's get into some boost blues. Who's boost blue is this? So, tell me your name. Tell me about your arm. Andrew. Uh, so my wife. About 10 months ago, ordered it for me. Okay. It was a dream car for me. Uh, currently, did all you stock... know she ordered it? No, I didn't. Oh, what a good wife. Uh, funny story about that is uh, we were we were looking for a, ha a new house, yeah. and so we were looking for about a year to the market. <laughs> so she ended up going ahead and ordering it. Well, about the time it came in, she had to tell me about it because. We had found a house, getting ready to sign for the house, because you're not supposed to buy anything right, right before that's buying a house. Say. So we had to put this in my name, the house in her name, and so here we are. Dude, the car looks great. A absolutely looks great. Hey, thanks for bringing her out. She looks great. Thank you. Take care. Anyone's boost blue? Yours, brother? Right. This used to be mine. Used to be. This is it. Now. I traded, it is. I traded this car in for my new truck because I needed something to pull my Harley. I need both you guys in it. Come on. I'm right. the original owner. Okay, so here we go. So, okay. tell me your name. Oh, Martin Kovacs. Martin, tell me your name. Mikey Simcox. And here's the interesting part. This car used to be Mikey's. This car is not Mikey's anymore. Nope. It's your car. Yep, that's so right. Tell me about your car, brother. So basically, um, I saw it and I had to have it no matter what. And then he was there at the dealership and he was like, dude, I just traded it in. And then I could just, I was just running back and he was like, I knew this is mine. And I looked, I went, I was like, yeah, no, it's mine now. And he was like, oh, you're the dude. So wait, so, so did you guys know each other before no, this? No, no, oh, get no out idea, here. no idea. And I didn't know he was going to be here today. I saw yeah, a lot yeah. full of Type R's and I looked at my friends. I was like, let me see if I can go find my car. And if you guys come here, somebody got this car when I was the owner. Somebody got it with a tow hitch right there. That's how I recognized That's it. How you know it's your That's car. how I recognized it. And I instantly freaked out. This is my car. Oh, you took the yellow uh, tints off? Uh, I don't know why, because now a lot of a lot of other people have them, so now I kind of miss them, but you know. Yeah. yeah. Brother, hey. And now I gotta keep it because I gotta keep that Very just cool, as a man. thing. I no, that's that's a crazy story. I'm glad both. I'm glad you were here at the time too. Dude, I swear. That's crazy. Good oh, I guys, miss this man. car so much. <laughs> What's your name? Tell me about your R. Uh, my name is Will. This is a 2020 
Who's Blue Type R. So it's a spoon inspired build. Um, so I, it took me a while, but I started collecting spoon parts, uh, rigid collars, stiff plates, springs. Uh, finally got my wing, so that's the golden golden part right there. I, I love it. You know what's funny is the, the rigid collars are so underrated. They are. They make such a big difference. It's amazing. So I also have a custom license plate. I couldn't get spoon, but I got fork for my <laughs> license plate. <laughs> it is, it's not taken. It's not taken. If I, did, if, I, if I did spoon, it would have been like three O's or four oh O's. Oh my God, that's so, so funny. So you just did fork. I said fork it. I love, man. Yeah. That, that is awesome. Well, well done. Very, I like, I, I like the whole belt. I, I yeah, really, so really I did really most of the spoon decals. Okay. Uh, everything kind of placed how they placed it. Sure, sure. Um, so right now, I'm still waiting on the exhaust. Okay. Uh, and then, Finally, they came out with the updated front bumper yes. for Honda Sensing. Yes, yes, So yes. I've been waiting on that for a while. So I guess that came out for yes, sure. Yes, Good meeting you too. Good meeting you. Patiently waiting. <laughs> so, oh, oh. Where, where, where are you, bro? Stop right here. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna move then. So I come over here, and before I asked whose car this was, they both pointed at each other. <laughs> so who's Bagged on air, type R is it? Who's gonna take responsibility for the car? Excellent. So, as you know, there aren't too many type R's on air. It's mostly a track car. But when they're on air, I personally think they look amazing. You get to drop them all the way to the ground, everyone freaks out, everyone's like, oh my god, what'd you do? So, what's your name and tell me about your R? Uh, my name's TJ Woodruff. I uh, got the bags that's on it, has the Takeda intake. The PLM down pipe, front pipe, and then just muffler deletes. So, so your your previous cars were they all on air? Is that no. your, oh, so this is, is this your first one? This is the first one on air. I had a 08 Chevy Cobalt SS that I wanted to put on air, okay. but I never did. I did more of the go fast parts with that. Very cool. Well, it obviously looks cool. It, it's look at this. It's so low that the, the mud guards you put on are literally dragging on the ground. Look at this. That's it. Well, well, seriously, well done. Thanks. Thanks for coming out, guys, for sure. Calling out AJ Blue. All right, if, if you're gonna go down there, bro, come on. If you're gonna go down there, let's get the type R socks. If you're gonna do it, let's show it all off. Other AJ Blue. Any of these yours? So, what's your name? My name's Eric. Tell me about your R. Uh, this is my 2019 Type R. It's uh, Egan Blue. I have Titan 7 TS5 wheels. Nice, nice choice, by the way. Very good. Big, big fan. Yes, sir. I do have a Acuity tail shifter, which really best shifting transmission ever. The HKS exhaust sounds beautiful. And then I have a PRL intake and a Cusco engine strut bar as well. It's you know what? It's a perfect combination. Oh, it really is. And for, for this is your daily? Yes sir. For a daily driver, it's absolutely perfect. So what oh are these? I haven't seen these before. This is like a like yeah. an add-on. Yes sir. I uh it's Oh and more it moves! Just, yeah. And it moves! Oh is that cool? Okay. Yes, sir. I like that. Yeah, it's more for uh, for blind spots and stuff like that, so it really helps for traffic for me as well. I appreciate coming yeah. out. The car looks amazing. Appreciate that. Cool, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And this? This Sean. Yeah, two, yeah. Three, what's up, man? Okay, so what's your name and tell me about your R. Hi, I'm Sean Taylor. Uh, this is my 2017 Honda Civic Type R. Got it brand new. Two miles on it. <laughs> And I've done a ton of stuff to it. As you can see, I'm going to do the outside first. So we have the carbon fiber hood. And this is basically for, for ventilation because, you know, the stock one doesn't really give you that cooling, that cooling effect as, 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 as this one does. You know, and then I have the APR spinner. Nice. Um, on the, and I have some canard. Little, little canards yeah, on the just side. To, you know, here dynamic just to and, help out. And you made these uh, yes. open? I, I actually purchased these just like that. Okay. You can get it on eBay. You can see underneath the PRL intercooler shining at you back there. Nice. And then if you come back around here, we have our Konek 19 inch, nine and a half. 
sitting on some Nido uh, tires. Very cool. Yeah. And just a little touch of carbon. Yeah, that's sitting on some uh, Ibach springs. Um, just a one inch drop. So you're running on the IC? Yes, I'm running on there. And I have some PRL shit in there, white line for suspension. Um, back here, we have the dirty flap. I like that. Both, that that attached wings. right to the factory spoiler. Exactly. Good job. Because I didn't want to just go get the whole thing. Of just a little, just Good a little job. touch. And performance-wise, I'm running meth. You're running meth. Yeah. Okay. So I have a five-gallon tank under here, and um, as you can see, rear rear suspension bars. What um, what kind of power numbers? Uh, I don't want to tell you all. The, I, I mean, the five plus. Five. five so plus. We're, we're talking five plus. Five plus. Yes. I don't want to. I don't want to tell the numbers, you okay, know, because okay. I have some people to beat up, you know. <laughs> yeah, car looks amazing. Thank you. So really, much. really, really comes you, together very you. well. So thank I look forward to seeing you beating some people up on the uh, track. Yeah. If they come, I'll you got it. I appreciate it. <laughs> what is this? Yes, sir. What is up with that valve cover? Oh man, I just want to have some fun with it. No, oh. you definitely, you definitely <laughs> are having some fun with it. That's. It's, an, it's an eye popper, it shows. <laughs> so tell me your name and tell me about your R. My name's Nick. Uh, right now, it's just kind of a work in progress. Uh, the big thing right now I have going is I've got the P600 at home from PRL. I'm nice. excited. You uh, should be. That's going to be awesome. 550 is the goal. Okay. Um, other than that, I went and got a PRL Catless downpipe, uh, a few suspension mods with the white line anti-lift kit to try and put the power down. Uh, hot sport motor mounts keep everything in place and just kind of rolling with it. I love it. How long have you owned it? I've had it three years. Uh, I've got 65,000 miles on it. Uh, daily it. Commute 500 miles every week. Nice. Great I, lo I love course. people that daily there are. Like that's, I mean, it's a perfect track to daily everything cars. So it, it really is. Um, it, it, it's even to the point I'll get to work. I work third shift. I'll get to work and uh, go to my lunch. I'll take a nap in my front seat. It's just that comfortable. It really is. So. Excellent, man. Well, I appreciate you bringing it out. Yeah. Good talking to you. I appreciate you letting me park next to you. <laughs> of course. That's an is. honor, honestly. So. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, brother. Thank, Thank you. Anybody? Us, man. You want to talk about it? Sure, I'm sure, sure, Dad. <laughs> sure, Dad. Sure. Yeah, I know, right? What's your name and tell me about your art? Uh, Sean Limley. It's a 2018. Uh, it's my daily. And uh, it's just a slow process as far as getting it done. Okay, looks like are these uh, the Mugen parts on the front? Yep, and uh, nice. swapped out the 18 grill to a 20. Nice. Um, HKS intercooler, uh, uh, Overland pieces inside, some uh, Synth Carbon beer caps and hood scoop. Uh, gyro disc, uh, front rotors, swift springs. Just just put on the brand new set of uh, TE37 SLs I got in a couple of days ago. Nice. I came over and I was the way you were talking. I was expecting like more of a stock build, but you've done a lot to it. You, you've you've done a lot to it. Inter it looks really good. Yeah, internals. Not, I think I, it's my daily, so the internal I've kind of stayed away from right now. But. Uh, when it becomes a, a complete toy, yeah. then then the internals will play. So a future future might be just a track. No, I mean no? It, it'll still be a play. I mean I, I don't think I'll ever take it to the track as no. far as that goes. No, it's, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tear it up. It, it's interesting to talk to some people like, oh yeah, it's just a track builder. It's fat 50 50 or no 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 no, just for the street. I mean, don't get me wrong. I will I would love to take it to a track for yeah. at least just to get that out of my system. Sure. But um, probably not. Like. A couple of guys here, you know, they, they've got theirs and they go to the track just yeah. every weekend. And uh, I've got into, gotten in with a, a group as far as with USR and Chinsey and all those. And I like those guys. Yeah. Good and guys. Uh, it's good. I missed you as far as one time you came in as far as when you came with the Guys, stop by. I see him yeah. like on one of my trips for and, sure. And uh, I mean, I'm not going to do anything, you know, full blown like, you know, their time attack. Sure, but, sure. But yeah, it, it's going to eventually be just a, a nicely built car. That's so, good. Hey. I appreciate you coming out. Yeah, you. All right, I'm sure. going. You too. Hey, I think we're down to the last two. Anybody's? Romy! Romy! Hey, there you are. Dude, I was hoping we'd see you. We yeah. talked earlier about your car and it's, it's truly amazing. So tell me your name and tell me about your R. Uh, my name's Rome. Uh, it's a 2019 Type R. Uh, I had bought it with about 10k miles on it in Gwinnett, Georgia. Um, came fully OEM, nothing like fully stock. I finished the build within a year. 
like I said, Mike at King Motorsports helped me out a lot. Yep. And uh, Solo Motorsports is who tuned it. I got about 400 wheel horsepower on a Mustang dyno. Okay. So it's about like 415, maybe 430, okay. like real. So tell me a little bit. So you have, you have the full Mugen kit? Yeah, full Mugen kit. You don't really see it much in uh, polished metal. The um, I have the tailgate spoiler and the mirror is still coming. But okay. other than that, the Jay's grill, Jay's tower bar. I was going to go with full Jay's build. Yeah. But it was just impossible to get the parts, like the timing, you know, it's just it's just so tough. All, all parts, all yeah. parts are to get. Shout out to Miss Jays, who uh, on Instagram, who would help me get all the parts, that, through the Jays parts that I did get. The whole build comes together very well. So have you tracked the car? No, I, I haven't yet, just because I'm afraid, just because of all the money I put into it. You know what I'm saying? Like. Just a bunch of money, and I don't so want Rome, it to blow up. Rome, Rome builds a track car, but he's afraid the track because yeah. all the money yeah. building the track car, which yeah. makes it yeah. kind of makes sense. That's yeah, good. but That's I'm I'm planning on it. I'm planning on getting out there good. with Solo. Uh, I I had told them like I rode Atlanta. Yeah. A few people they know who maybe I could get out there and track it and do something cool. with it. Rome, I appreciate you bringing out. The yeah. car looks awesome. Of course, Thanks brother. So yeah. much. Uh, it was great meeting you too, brother. You know. I, I appreciate that. Yeah. Thanks for I love time, man. I love Jason's videos. Anything Honda related you want to get to know, you want to check it out, go to his page. Definitely give him some views. Hit the like button, subscribe, hey, everything. Hey, yep. dude, that's like better than I could have done. Yeah. I appreciate that, man. So that completes everybody's car here at the event, except for one, which happens to be, well, my car. So my name's Honda Pro Jason. I'm the host of this awesome event here at Import Alliance. Shout out to Don and the guys here for letting me host this event. And this is my 2017 custom painted Civic Type R. It is custom painted Phoenix Yellow, which was a color not available in 2017. Uh, Kirk's Collision out in Missouri, custom painted the entire car, took every nut, bolt, fastener, took the glass, took the engine, took the interior out of the car in order to paint this. I have a lot of upgrades. I'm running Titan 7 wheels with Yokohama tires on it. The car was really set up as a car that I thought Honda should have built at the time. They didn't offer this color at the time. They also, I thought it should be like an OEM Plus build. So it's not wild, not as wild as a lot of these cars out here, but it has a lot of nice updates. I have the 2020 grill, 2020 brakes, uh, new front end, a lot of carbon. All the carbon that I replaced on the car is real. So this is the real carbon scoop. The roof has been replaced, so the old roof was pulled off, and there's a carbon fiber roof that puts that they replaced it with. Inside the car, all the interior pieces that Honda had the faux carbon, I made real carbon fiber, along with the back seats, Pegasus carbon. Pegasus carbon from Canada set me up with those. And like I said, the whole car is just set up as an OEM plus. So little things. There used to be a keyhole here, and now I cover that keyhole with a little blank, so I got rid of the silver look. A lot of the flat black is now gloss black, which I liked a lot. Added a moving wing in the back. So just little subtle pieces, again, to make an OEM Plus build. So that's my car. And that's the other, I think we said 36 or 37 Chevy Type bars. Huge shout out to everyone that came out. The love, you guys are awesome. You guys came from Indiana, South Florida, all over the country to come to Import Alliance, which is uh, the largest import show in the United States. So shout out to everyone. Shout out, of course, to Ben Howard, Mr. Cameraman. I appreciate everything you do for the community. And as always, guys, this time from Atlanta, Georgia, I'm the Honda Pro, and now you're in the know. I got a quick question. I want to know what it's up with the, I want to know about the power of this thing I, I explained that in English, don't worry about. I, I, so you went through the power in Spanish a little bit, right? Yeah. You want, you want to go no, through it in English? English. Yeah, tell, English tell, 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 me, tell me about the power in English and we'll see. Go and ahead. I'm going to translate My that name in Spanish. Well, 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 I'm going to translate well, that in Spanish. I, got, I, I can translate yeah, it. Yeah, but so it's I'll better have... for you in Spanish. I don't know. You said Spanish. Well, no, no, no. I... So you can do this however you oh, want. Oh, and you I'm going to have know, the you subtitle. Want... Oh, okay. I just mentally for myself because oh, I see the... He wants to know for his own, not for film. He wants Yeah, no, no, no. Go ahead. I mean, I'm going to film it, but you can tell me. Don't worry. Hey, my name is right the same uh, yeah what's your name and tell me about your art my name is Oscar Pichardo I live in Georgia but I'm from Puerto Rico this car has the 550 horsepower is the engine is whole it's tuned by Pepo Bebosa from Puerto Rico who, who else uh, put that car, right yeah 
red star. But right now I'm driving in daily and track both and use it both. I have the baby, use it the car seat, everything. This car is amazing for track. It's amazing. It's I have awesome. the two set of the wheel for this tire for track and the other tire for wheel for daily. But well, it's better for me. But yeah. Well, I appreciate you coming out. The build looks amazing. Only build the engine, but the other is stock. It's clutch is stock. Full system is stock. Everything is stock. A lot of people are running stock clutches up to almost yeah. 600 horsepower, which yeah. is outstanding. Which really is. So thank you. Thank you, bro.